Hi, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about doing research in the library, not on Google. So um, I'm going to walk you through some of the things you need to know about conducting and doing research in the library. One of the reasons that we're going to go and use the library is because that's where we're going to find our academic research or sources. Uh, so I said in the slide on the first day there's a difference between academic research and proprietary research. In academic research we say follows a very specific agreed upon scientific method that we tend to see as more unbiased. So we want academic research sources. We don't just want to Google proprietary research that's out there on the internet. So in order to find those academic sources, we have to go to the library. And we have to search in databases. So you'll see right here after you open up the library's homepage is databases. You want to click on that. Databases are where your academic journals are. Almost all of your professors are going to want you to use academic journals as your resources. Not books, not newspapers, magazines, or Google or website. They want journal articles, academic journals. Academic journals are also what we call primary resources. This is a very important concept to understand. Your book is not a primary resource. It's a secondary resource. A primary resource is written by the original author or groups of authors. It's the original paper. It's the original writing, manuscript. Your book <clears throat> is actually a secondary resource because it's gathered all kinds of other primary information and sources and put it together collectively and is considered a secondary source. So we are looking for those primary sources. These are the original sources written by that author or group of authors themselves. And the only place we're going to find those is in our databases. So we're going to click on databases A through Z. It's going to take us there. Because we are in the communication discipline, we're going to click on C for communication. We're going to go ahead and scroll down until we find our database. Our database is communication and mass media complete. This is the one you want forever and ever the rest of your time in calm. You will come to know this research base and love it. This one right below it, be careful. This is really much more mass media tech based and we're not going to find what we're looking for there. So the one you want to click on always is communication and mass media complete. So you're going to click on that and it's going to take you into your search database. Now there's one more database thing you want to do to ensure that you're searching in the most possible databases. Right up on top there it says choose databases you're going to click on that and you are going to select all. These are all databases that house academic journals and academic journal articles. So we want to make sure that we're looking in all of these when we put in a search term. So go ahead and click OK. Don't forget to click that choose all databases once you get into communication and mass media complete. Now we can begin searching. So hopefully there's some communication topic that you're interested in. Um, I am interested in communication in the classroom and how that affects student learning. So we could do that. Communication, I'm going to actually say classroom communication and student learning. Okay. Now, a lot of times finding things can be difficult. I hear the plaintiff cry from students, but I couldn't find anything. Searching is really an art form, and you have to work at it. So if our first search doesn't yield what I'm looking for, I'm going to try some different combinations of words. You, you can't just search once and give up. The, the, it's there. The sources are there. We just kind of have to do a little bit more work. So let's search and see if we find any articles. And the computer says, oh my gosh, we hit the jackpot. 339 different articles that look at communication and student learning. Um, so I can look through these and see if there's one in particular that's pertinent to what I'm trying to study. Um, I'm not studying Vietnamese teachers. Not studying that. How about this? Mm, no, I'm not really... 
Mm, not in Bangladesh. This could be interesting. I've been playing around for some while about using a student response system like who or I clickers. Don't like it very much. And so I wonder what kind of um, research has been done to show if clickers improve student learning in the classroom. So I think I want to take a look at this. This is an academic journal article, so I know it's an academic journal, which means it's going to be a primary source. Where do I find out what academic journal it's in? Well, I can tell right here it's in Language Learning and Technology, but I can also tell when I click on it, it should list the source, Academic Learning Technology, it should tell me the date it was published, all of that good information. And I should have a little summary of this right here. And this should tell me. Now, interestingly enough, it does look, look like this study is looking at Koreans with English as a foreign language. So I got all the way to this point and kind of found out, hmm, this really isn't what I'm looking for because I'm not working with Korean students. So that's all right. I can go back, click back, and let's see if I can something find something else. Um, how about, oh, here's one, but this is a book. You all remember, I hope, what I just said about a book. This is a secondary resource. This is not an academic journal, and you may not want to cite this, depending on your professor's requirement. This is a report. Same here. This is not an academic journal, so this may be questionable to use. We want academic journals. It's pretty much all we're looking for. So this is um, whole class discourse. This looks at promoting student learning. Mm, none of these are really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something else. Classroom communication. Um, I'm gonna try classroom, I'm actually gonna use teacher. Uh, teacher humor. Okay, I should have put professor, that might make a difference. And that's the kind of thing, you might put teacher humor and the word professor could change the whole search. Professor humor and student learning. This might be more interesting to me. It is more interesting to me, quite frankly. Let's see what we find. All right, so we got 10 articles. Uh, this is a dissertation or thesis, which is original research. It's not published yet, but it is original academic research and is a primary source. So most professors would accept that. Um, there is an academic, the role of instructor humor this looks good. I like this article. It's going to tell me how much humor helps people learn in and out of the classroom. So I'm kind of excited about this. This is an academic journal and I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to find out very quickly. Here are my group of authors. I've got four authors. This is in the journal Communication Quarterly. This is a great communication journal. I have an article published in this journal. We like this one. It's a quality, very quality journal. So now we're going to go down and read the summary here and see what it's all about and if this looks like something I'm interested in reading. Lo and behold, I do have the full link to the article. It's all right here. One of the things we're going to be doing a little later on in class is explaining how do you read through this type of an article and how the heck do you understand what all this stuff is, especially the results sections with charts and tables that can sometimes get pretty confusing. So that's going to be the second part. You actually don't need to worry about that right now. What you need to understand is simply how to get into the library, how to find an academic journal, knowing the difference between a primary and secondary source. Um, so let's try a different subject. Maybe you're more interested in family communication <clears throat> and conflict. It's a, it's a hot topic. <laughs> so you hit search and let's see what we come up with. Wow, 826 items. Ooh, this First one right here looks rather interesting. Family secrets. Conflict styles between parents and their young adult children. Do you have the same conflict style as your parent? Well, this could be a very interesting article. We've got our authors here. Um, our source, this is from Communication Reports. This is a, a highly popular, widely used communication journal. This is good. We like all this. 
And here's a little family about what the, a little abstract about what the study was about. This also has a full link right to the article. Later, we will again be talking about what are you looking for then when you do read these articles. But at least we're working today on just how to find them. Let's go back because I do want to pick on an article that does not have a link that maybe you want to take a look at. Um, so let's see. This, this is a book. This is not a primary source. So again, probably not going to want that. It might be useful information but it's not a primary academic journal. Um, here's one. Ooh, no, Ugh, that sounds too, too complicated. Huh, see how we do this? Here in the real, NTV meets the communication classroom. Hmm, that could be interesting. I'll go back and read that later. <laughs> Let's look at this um, article right here. It's the first year of college and it's dealing with the privacy boundary between you and your family and the distress it might cause you. So this article might actually be good for some of you to read. So um, there's our author. Oh, look at this right here. It's in the Journal of Human Communication Research great journal, um, but there's no link to the full text. How do I find it? Well, that's where you're going to go click on the button right over here that actually says find it. So you're going to click on that and what happens is it should give you a few other choices where potentially the full link might be hiding. Um, but if you still can't find the full link, um, doesn't look like it. Here. Oh wait, whoop, now. See, it's telling me I can get the full text to any of these links. So if I click on that, it'll take me to the full text. So that's what Find It does. It finds it for you. However, and look, they even have bound issues woo, woo, in the library, so you could get it there. This one was an easy one. However, if you cannot find it, if it still comes up as basically a dead link, you can order it through Interlibrary Loan. And I want to see if I can find one like that. Most of these, I'm probably going to end up finding it. Um, human communication research. Let's find it. It's probably going to find it for me because I don't want it to. So, <laughs> um, did it find? Yep, it found it. So I can go look at all of these different places. If it is not there, it'll say, "Do you want to?" order it from interlibrary loan. You're going to click on that and order the article. And that's and it'll, they'll send it right to you. It's just about the easiest thing you can do and you never even have to go into the library. Um, I'll search another topic real quickly just so you get it. You're going to put in I'm going to put in nonverbal communication and oops. Well, let's try that again. Nonverbal communication and teacher effectiveness. Let's go with that. See what we, I'm sure we're going to come up with a ton. Boom. Here are a ton of stuff right here. Academic journal. There it is. <laughs> All kinds of, of articles here on this. Um, let's see. I, oh, perils. <laughs> My light just went out. Sorry about that. Okay, let me let me see here if uh, this one will probably be able to access, but let's go. Let's click on find it and see. I said, and la 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 la. Looks like I've got an engine. So there's not that's I can get it from there. If this didn't pop up, there would be, what would pop up would, do you want to request it from interlibrary loan? And you would say yes, put in your information, your email, and they would send the article to you. So this is how you find these academic journals. They are original research done by scholars following the scientific method. Um, and we tend to consider these very reliable, unbiased sources. So this is the same place you would look for, you know, research done in the American Journal of Medicine or Medical Procedures. This is the research we're interested in. Not what's in Cosmo, not what's just on Google, not even Google Scholar. Google Scholar can get you to some journal articles, but here you don't even have to guess. You know you're in an academic research database. You know you're going to be getting academic journal articles, primary sources. Okay? 
need you to know the difference between a primary and a secondary source, an academic research source, and a proprietary source, how to go to the library, and how to find different sources in the Communication and Mass Media Complete database. Your library assignment that's coming up next week is going to be an activity where you will need to go into this very database and do some searching for some articles. Um, I want to just again quickly go through the parts of an article once you find one. So we're always looking for the authors. There's a bunch here. The name of the journal, the volume, the number, the pages it's on, the date it was published. Okay, all of this information. Now, interestingly enough, it's in this Metacognition and Learning Journal, but what database did we find this in? This is tricky. We actually found it, down here it says database, not in Communication and Mass Media Complete, but in ERIC. ERIC is the database this article was found in. Remember when I said you want to choose all of these? All of these are different databases, okay? And that's where the, the journal articles are housed. This journal article was found in ERIC. We do find a lot of COM articles, especially education in ERIC. We find a lot of COM articles in the Psych Info database. Um, and we find a lot of COM articles in um, film or television sometimes, just depends, and academic premier search. So you have academic journals, you have names of journals like Com Reports or Metacognition and Learning. Those journals are found or housed in many different databases. The database you will most often use is always going to be Communication and Mass Media cl Complete. Click OK, select all these others. I hope that makes sense and you got it. We'll talk a little more about it on Monday, or Wednesday, Wednesday.